Hey everybody, Jason from Trendify here, and today we're going to talk about another foot in the door strategy to help you get clients fast once you get signed up with High Level. And again, you can go to ghlfree.com to get a free 30 day trial to the software. Now, today, the um, foot in the door strategy that I want to tell you about is the chat widget. And the chat widget is something that's very easy to understand. So we're going to get into some details here. But why we're talking about foot in the door strategies is these are easy for customers to say yes. So they're easy to get some money flowing into your company. Now, what is the chat widget? Well, the chat widget is one of the features in high level that lets you or your customers com communicate immediately with a prospect. So they're either chatting on their website or they're chatting with them on Google. We'll walk you through that. Now, there are two types of chat widgets. Number one is the website chat widget, which I'll show you what that looks like. It's something you've probably seen on several other sites where there's a little chat icon there, and then all of a sudden you tap on that, and then it's a place for people to interact with you, put their name and email in, and get a response back. Now, High Level has just rolled out instant chat as well, where you can go back and forth. You have somebody that's monitoring the chat 24 seven, or there is this particular one, which works really well, that turns everything into a text message. So the person can leave their message and then they go off about their day. And then when you see the message or your client does, they respond and the consumer gets a text message on their phone. So it works really well to convert those people into sales. That's the website chat widget. And then the Google chat widget is something that most people don't have. And that is if you look on your phone and you start Googling different things in your area, like real estate agent uh, in your area or tree service, which we'll talk about in a moment. Um, if they have this icon, that means they have Google enabled chat, which is really powerful. And we have the ability with high level to turn that feature on, which is really cool. So I'll show you a bit more about that in a moment too. So we have the website chat widget and Google chat widget. Now, why should we offer this service? Well, our whole goal in the first 30 days, I've talked about this on several other videos, the whole goal is to get some money flowing into your company. So we're offering foot in the door, easy to understand strategies that business owners need to use and are willing to pay for. And it's something easy to pitch. So we don't wanna complicate things with funnels and all kinds of crazy stuff. Right now, keep it simple, get some money coming in, and then, once you have some money flowing, then you can open your mind to what do I really want my company to be? What niche do I want to serve if I want to serve a niche? What actual offers do I want to provide? But these are some easy things to get some money flowing into your company. Now, why is the chat widget easy to sell? Well, a couple reasons. Number one, businesses are missing out on a ton of leads and many potential customers don't want to call on the phone. I'm one of those people. If I can find a way to chat with you or chat with customer support, that's what I'm doing over sitting on hold. That's just my method and a lot of other people's methods. And another thing is we can demonstrate this very quickly and easily. It doesn't take a lot of tech to explain. You just say, hey, here's your website. Now here's your website with a chat widget. Look how cool that is. And look how easy people could communicate with you. Wouldn't that help your business? That's basically the, the pitch. And then also, we're not gonna cover it too much on this video, but AI is here. So AI is now integrated into high level and in the chat functionality. So that's a whole other tutorial. But as you get past your first few clients, start exploring the AI capabilities of this because literally the AI can convert people into an appointment or a sale. Oftentimes it just takes a little bit of programming and back and forth. I don't want to overcomplicate this video, but just know that we can take this to an incredible level where we're really providing an incredible service for people and charging accordingly. Now, why is this easy for us to deliver? This setup takes, it's probably the easiest thing to set up, it takes less than two minutes, probably less than 30 seconds to actually implement. And once it's done, the chat widget is there. The Google uh, chat is there. So we don't have a lot of maintenance to do to keep this thing going. It's just there and it's working. And maybe the customer has some questions, but overall, we don't have to do a lot more work. The software is providing the work for us. Now, how do we sell it? This is where we get a little bit more nitty gritty here. How do we sell this? So we break this down into the tools, which is number one, we need high level, obviously. Uh, we need Google, which is not necessarily a tool, but it's a, a way that we're going to find some prospects. Loom, which I've talked about in a previous video. And uh, if you, again, want to get a free 30-day trial to high level, I give you a bunch of uh, templates and landing pages to actually sell this service. Just go to ghlfree.com, and that will give you a free 30-day trial. A link should be uh, somewhere on this page. Now, the sales methods. How do we actually sell this? So we have the warm method, 
which is basically going out, posting on social media, and or reaching out to friends and family that have businesses and offering this. I'm going to show you the script in a moment, but we can reach out to our warm audience. So just make a list, take out a little notepad or uh, pull up a, a doc on your computer and just type out all the people that you know that are in some type of business and start reaching out to them saying, hey, I have this tool and I'll show you the script in a, again in a moment. Then we also have the hunting method, which is you going out and actually prospecting, finding ideal customers to prospect. And we can do that using Google or High Level has a built-in prospecting tool, which I'll show you in a moment, but that helps you find people that are likely to need the services that you have to offer. So that's a really cool, uh, and I'll show you both those options. And typically these people that we're looking for have either no website or they have a website that doesn't have a chat widget, which is easy to find because we tap on their website, we see if there's any chat widget. If not, we call them up or we find a way to email them if you don't wanna call um, to pitch this particular offer. Now, the nine word script, I've talked about this in previous videos. It doesn't have to be nine words, it's just my mental trigger to know Keep these outreach messages short and concise and make a, a clear offer and try to get a response. So the one that I came up with for this is, hi, business owner name. If I could show you in five minutes how I could double your business, would you be open to a chat, to a quick chat? And literally, we can drastically increase people's business if they implement this and they actually follow up with the people that reach out. Because oftentimes, as I, I said, people are going to a website wanting uh, an answer, but they don't want to call. And if there's no other way to contact the business other than filling out some long form, then they're most likely going to leave and go find somebody else to do business with. So we can implement this thing really quickly and have people um, at least getting in conversations. And then it's obviously up to the business owner and their team to close the sale, but at least we're giving them more opportun opportunities to do that. And we can show them all of the results that we've gotten through that chat widget right inside of our software. So it's really cool. Now the outreach method, either uh, over email or phone, but also sometimes I like to use Loom. And Loom is a tool, this is just a sample video of what I did, I'm not gonna play it all the way through, but basically you just pull up either the uh, client's website or their social media or some reference showing that you did some research on them. You talk a little bit about what they're doing well, what they could improve on, and then you can either demo the feature right there if you're doing the chat widget, or you can just introduce yourself and say, hey, I'd love to jump on a quick Zoom call, or if you're local, uh, I can stop by and show you what I can do, and uh, it'll just take about five or 10 minutes. So that's what I use Loom for to kind of connect a face and build some credibility and some trust uh, in a digital way before we actually meet over a Zoom call or in person. So how much do we sell this for? Well, I recommend pricing it between 97 and 297 or more if you're starting to add those AI tools. And if you think that's crazy, that's too much, I wanna show you an example. This is um, a software called Podium. They're a massively successful company. And just look, for 249 on their lowest tier plan, they uh, capture online reviews, so we're gonna talk about reviews in a different um, segment here. Uh, Text-based website chat, which is what we're offering today. Uh, easy to use text marketing, so we're going to incorporate some text capability in here as well. And then a few other things, uh, payment processing, which we can offer with high level. So just this basic pass package we can offer with high level in just the core four simple tools that we're offering these um, for 200 bucks, 300 bucks, it's not out of the question. This company, again, is massively successful. But just starting out, if you just wanna get some money flowing, do $97 a month, get four or five clients, and you're covering your expenses, and then you're off to the races. So I'm gonna show you how to find some prospects, and then we'll actually show you how to install the chat widget, which again takes just a minute or two, if that, and then we'll wrap up this video, but I wanna bring you over to Google and show you how to do this. So. Number one, let's see, let's go to the prospecting tool here in high level first. And I'm going to show you here that uh, this is just under your agency dashboard. So once you have a high level account, you'll have a dashboard. It may look somewhat different because I have customized this a bit to my Trendify brand, but you can see here, we just click add a prospect. And then let's just do something I haven't done before, tree service in, um, Madison, Wisconsin. So I have no idea what results we'll get here, but uh, I'm curious to see, and then I'm gonna bring you over to Google and show you a similar 
search here. But what this is doing is going out and seeing, does this business have a Google My Business or Google uh, Business Profile claimed? Do they have a WordPress site? And then it gives you a likelihood of if, the, if this particular customer would likely convert into a sale for you. So you can see this one has claimed, has a WordPress site. I'm not even sure what the criteria is. I just know that it's um, pulling in a lot of different data points here. So this has a moderate likelihood of conversion rate. Unlikely. Why it's saying unlikely is probably because they already have claimed their Google My Business and they have a WordPress site. Uh, let's see. Unlikely. Let's go to the next page and see. And we're just scrolling through. And then I'll show you again a free way or easy way to do this with um, Google as well. This is free built into your high-level dashboard, but um, sometimes I get different results with Google too. So, Okay. So this is pulling. Let me see if I can get one that is showing at least moderate chance, and then we'll we'll check it out. So this is 51% moderate chance, very high chance. And why is that? Because they don't have a Google business profile claimed, and they don't have a WordPress site. So it says very high likely conversion. So let's see what happens when we get over here. So they do have a website. So let me just open a new tab here and see. Maybe they have a chat widget. Maybe they don't. We'll find out. Okay, so looks like they have a website, but it's not great, obviously. And we'll give it another second to load, but what I'm not seeing is a chat widget popping up, right? So I could easily reach out to them through one of these methods, maybe on Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook, or I could call. And so they have a contact us page. And then look at this. So most consumers, are they going to take the time to fill this out? No. But you can call them. You can even fill out this form if you wanted to. Pick the phone up, call them, and see if they wanted uh, to hear that quick pitch that you had. So that is just one way to do it. And I, I love the prospecting tool that's built in there. Uh, let me bring you over to Google, and we'll look for similar options here. And there's a little bit more on Google that we can find, too. So we'll do the same thing. Uh, tree service... Madison, Wisconsin. And we're going to hit search more pre uh, more tree service providers. Hopefully you guys like this raw style of uh, bringing info to you too. I think it's been helping me get more content out to you and you guys um, are consuming a lot of it, which I appreciate. So what we're looking for here, uh, once this fully loads, is... I want to find a few things. I want to find a lot of these sites that have um, a lot of years in business, if it shows me that, but not many reviews and no website listed. So we're seeing, let's see, none of these are showing a website for some reason. Seems strange that none of them would have a website. Let me go back and just see if there's a different search here first. Oh, here we go. Okay. More businesses. Let's see if this brings me to a different place. All right. So what we're looking for, again, is not a lot of reviews and no website listed. That's the first type of prospect I like to go after because we can incorporate building them a quick, simple website in high level and um, doing the chat widget. But let's see, here's one that has a website, uh, but six reviews, seven years in business. So let's check this out and see. Maybe they have a chat widget, maybe they don't. Oh. So we're clicking on this. I can already see that they're not even in business anymore. So, so they should have used your chat widget a long time ago. All right, let's find another quick one and then we'll move on here. But that's mainly my goal is I'm looking through, I'm tapping through all these websites. Maybe I'm starting a little spreadsheet and I'm finding a little hit list of people that I'm going to reach out to. Okay, closed. Let's see. Let's just try this random one. 
And if this doesn't have one, at least you get the concept. We're looking for somebody that either doesn't have a website or has a website without a chat widget. So this one looks like they're probably going to have it, but let's see. Okay, nothing popping up yet. All right, so this would be a good prospect as well. They don't, they have a website, looks pretty decent, but they don't have a chat widget. So we can install this on any website, even outside of high level. So let me bring over to high level and I'll show you exactly how we go to install this. Okay, so I'm going to switch into a sub account here. Oh, actually, I think I already had it pulled up here. All right, so this, assume this is a website that we created for the prospect. We literally only have to do one thing. And what we do is we go to this tab that says, this is under uh, sites, and we go to chat widget. And we can customize this with their logo or their icon. We can change how we, we want this to look. We just click enable. And then if they have their own website, we hit get code. And we put this code on their website somewhere, which is, that's all it takes. We copy the code, we put it in the body, and it will pop up. If it's a site we've built for them, then we just go back to the site I was just on, hit settings. I'll show you the site first. So this is the site without the chat widget. Okay. And then we just literally turn this knob on here, this little toggle, hit save. I'm gonna go back here and refresh. And it will pop up in just a second. Perfect, so there it is and people can chat. We can demo this instantly when we get to the prospects place or if they have their own website we can just show them the example before and after like I just did on my site and say we can just install this on the site that you already have so that's how that works now one more thing I'm going to show you let me just see how much I got left here um, so we will go to when we're setting a client up we're going to, under the launch pad, the only other thing we need to do for that Google side is we just need to connect their Google profile here. So I've already done it here, but literally that's all you do. It walks you step by step how to connect it to the Google profile that they have. And then it's within a matter of minutes usually, sometimes it takes an hour or two, they will start having that little uh, Google chat icon set up there. Let's see, where was that? Right here. So they'll have that, and then all of the chats that come in here will go into their um, conversation tab right here. So they'll be able to chat with every single lead that comes in, or they have an app on their phone that will allow them to chat with those people as well. So you can walk through, play with that. I recommend getting some friends or family that have a business and try this out with them for free. Give them a free trial. Give them some way to uh, utilize it. Or if it's like a family member, say, hey, I'm going to give this to you for the next 30 days and see what you think. And then we can talk about it and see if it gets you some more business. And that's what I would start with and just get you comfortable with pitching it. And then when you go start talking to business owners, it's just an easy to present item that they hopefully will see the value in and start paying you. Then you can stack it on top of other things. If you need to sweeten the pot, offer reviews, offer the social media posting tool, other things that we are covering in these videos to just get some money flowing. Once you have money flowing, then you can be free and start planning out what you really want this business to turn into. But start simple. Don't offer every single package and all that stuff. Don't offer these $2,000 packages before you even know how to deliver anything. Just get some money coming in, cover your expenses, and then you'll be free and you can do whatever you want. So go to ghlfree.com. I'll give you a bunch of funnels and landing pages just to be able to pitch this stuff. Um, and hopefully you get some business right out the gate. And other than that, I'll talk to you again on the next video. Thanks.